Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing about trigger send in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So it will it will be an end to end tutorial. From uh, this video, you will get to know what is a trigger send and how you can create one uh, for your Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Okay. So a brief a brief introduction about myself. I am Prithvi Raj and I have been working in Salesforce Marketing Cloud for the last uh, three years uh, and I am still working. So this is uh, pretty much about myself. Now let's uh, go into the next slide and here is a gist of all the uh, points to be noted down. You can write it down. So the, in this, uh, uh, if you see, first of all, you have to create a data extension. Uh, we will walk through each each step, uh, but still, uh, what uh, we have to note is uh, we have to note down these points. Uh, that's why I created this slide. So first of all, uh, we have to create a data extension, and we have to create a data extension using the template of trigger send. So this step is very important. Okay, you uh, if you create a simple data extension, that won't work. So then you have to create your email okay so after that you have to create your triggers and definition you have to create the form you type something you then you have to create the landing page of thank you and in your thank you page you will have your am script and then you have to update you have to make you have to add obviously you have to add the triggers and code and you have to update and make sure that your triggers and definition key has been updated in the code as well so these are all the steps uh, now let's go to this initial slide okay so this is the initial page which you uh, you always see when you log into salesforce marketing cloud so the uh, here uh, first of all you have to go to contact builder there you have to create a new data extension by clicking on the de create data extension button once you click that data extension, you have to you will get this pop up and you have to select create from template from that drop down. So this is a very important step. OK, so after that, you have to click on is sendable and then you have to put all those details, all those fields which you will be using in the trigger send. Those are also uh, will be provided over here. So when you uh, just like you create a data extension, the rest of the steps are similar. You have to provide those fields which uh, the fields make sure you have to provide each and every field. If you are personalizing the emails, uh, all those fields has to be placed over here okay so you have to create a data extension and you have to create a data extension from the template which is trigger send data extension so this is the trigger template name so after that once the data extension is created you have to go to email studio so in email studio you have to click on create an email message uh, just like this you have to create an email message and then you have to select a template. In this case, I am using a blank template and then you have to go to put all those details. You have to put uh, the details like name and all and what are what uh, uh, whatever the procedure is for creating an email. Go to the next slide uh, and there you have to all you have to build your email basically. So it's all drag and drop. You can add personalization string just like I have shown here by first name so that you can add. You can add all your content, your images, everything. And when the email is ready, you save that. OK, there is the save button over here. You click on that. The email gets saved. After that, you go to interactions in email studio and then you go to trigger sends okay so triggered send emails okay this is the uh, drop from the drop down you will go here and there you can you will get this create button you click on that and then you will be able to create a trigger send definition 
remember this is still not trigger scent it is just the definition uh, which is actually a, like a binding agent uh, between the email and the data extension which you will be using so it's like tying the email you have just now created and the data extension you have just now created in and provide a simple key so that key you will need to put in your code okay and then only whenever the code gets hit the email will be triggered uh, to the data extension all the uh, contacts in that data extension so once you provide all these fields so you can provide your send classifications uh, sender profile delivery profile everything you can provide over here you can provide the name you have, you have to select uh, from content builder uh, emails you have to select your email which you have just now created you have to uh, here in this case we are using data extension so you have to search for your data extension and here you will note one thing that if you do not create it trigger send data type template data extension then you will not find your data extension over here so for this reason you have to create only from that template and then you will be able to see that data extension over here so after all this is done you click on publish publish changes for save then publish and once you publish that then you have to start the data extension so if you go here uh, make sure that you start the data extension so uh, after you publish the changes here is the button if you have a look over here uh, you will in this menu you will see this start restart and pause and all this you have to click on start and the trigger send definition will be in a st active state it's like activating and deactivating so if you click on start it will get started okay and then after this is done you have to note down the external key okay so this is a very important step you note down the external key keep it with you now you go to the code and now i will be explaining you the code uh, line by line so this is the code of trigger send definite uh, trigger send uh, actually so i i didn't uh, went through the html part uh, you have to develop uh, there will be two pages one will be form so one will be form page you have to pro uh, in this case like we have the email address name i have uh, you know, just provided here two fields so email and name so basically this two field you have to create a form in uh, in a landing page in web studio you have to go inside a collection create a form and that form should have two fields one is name and another is email address i uh, feel free to add more if you want to uh, based on your requirement but uh, you can design and all do all those stuff uh, and once the form is done you click on publish and you keep it there okay now what you have to do is after that is done you have to uh, you have to create another page now that's the page where this code will go so that is the thank you page so uh, when the user clicks on uh, enters the details clicks on that submit button now it goes to thank you page and in this thank you page it will uh, you can have the html and you have to put this m script part over here okay and once that thank you page is done then one main thing is to note but i will let uh, uh, look into that later first first of all let me explain this code so this is variable declaration pretty much simple where the variables are declared nothing much now this is the set request parameter so request parameter is actually uh, when you click on that post um, you click on that button of form the uh, the data will be post uh, through post method it will get transferred to this thank you page okay so you have to this is actually like you can use query parameter or request parameter you can fetch those data and then once you have that data okay once you have that data then you can uh, store that inside this variable called name and email and now you are creating a object of trigger send okay so you are uh, these are the apis which are uh, open and you are just creating an object of trigger send you are creating an object of trigger send definition and now 
basically you here is the place where you have to this is the 105 which uh, is our triggers and external key uh, so in this line you are setting object property of what of the triggers and definition you have just now created that object you are adding a customer key of 105 which is your triggers and definition external key which just now you have created so you have added it just now over here and so your triggers and definition has now recognizes that this is the trigger send which we have to fire okay now you have this uh, set object of triggers and definition so this line actually ties now ties that triggers and definition object to the triggers and object so this two are now one okay we keep that now separately now we have cre we are creating a object of type subscriber because uh, when we uh, fire and trigger send it should be targeted to a particular subscriber right so uh, for that we are creating a object of subscriber we are adding email uh, a property of email address and subscriber key for that object subscriber so this is nothing but we are creating a subscriber we are adding a uh, email address and a subscriber key uh, so this is we are setting the object property of email address and setting the object property of subscriber key to this subscriber okay now this is done now similarly this is another para another set of code where we are creating an attribute now attribute is the place where you have you can have multiple n number of fields let's say you have that uh, you have this uh, uh, let's say you have name email contact and anything you have all this you can just copy this section and paste multiple times and change the name to and you ha you can have many uh, many fields okay so you can have based on whatever uh, your data extension has so that's important okay because ultimately the data will go there so now uh, you are creating an attribute set object property and you are putting this uh, property of name and the property value of name which is the variable you are fetching the value from here and you are setting it here and now once this is done you are at the last line if you see we are tying this attribute value to whom to this subscriber object so basically we are adding this data to which with subscriber key so basically we are adding this entire attribute of name let's say prithviraj you are adding that name uh, value to this email address which is my email address so you are uh, i am giving an example so basically you are adding that similarly you are uh, it's the same thing again you are adding another attribute of type email address okay this is this should be email so basically we this is another object of type uh, no this will be name it's fine so basically this is another object of create object attribute and set object property of uh, what is the property it's email and its value is email and again you are tying that with that subscriber now you this entire thing this entire subscriber part is tied to this ts sub now you have to tie this subscriber with the trigger send object okay which is the ts so this last line finally ties or you, i am just using a term ties it actually binds this uh, or uh, it's provides a link uh, between the subscriber and the trigger send object so once this line is done finally we are in we are doing an invoke create uh, method we are calling that and uh, what this is doing is it is firing this trigger send so this is the trigger send uh, ts and this gets fired and uh, there is a status code and error code and you, you store that in a variable and you can check uh, whether it was successful or not once this uh, trigger this uh, thank you page is done so we have this it's not ended here now you have to take the cloud page link so once you have that once you place this code in the thank you page make sure to publish this page take the link and put it in the form uh, uh, put it in the form let's say let me just uh, add one more slide over here and let me just uh, let's say 
here is the form uh, in the in the form page okay so in the form page let's say this is the form this is input type uh, you have all this right so here you put uh, you will have method post and action so here you will place the link this is the url url of thank you page so you place it over here so uh, once this is done it's done okay so now you publish and if you submit you will see you will receive an email which you just now created so this is pretty much how you create a trigger send from salesforce marketing cloud so hope you enjoyed this video you learned something from it so thank you all so subscribe to our channel and thank you bye